Happy Monday, you guys. It is Monday morning, and this is my quiet time. So, got my blanket, my coffee, and yeah, I'm working late today, but I have an appointment for the endodontist that I scheduled first thing in the morning, early this morning. So I still have to get up early and so I'm going to have my coffee before I go take a shower and get dressed for the day. So see you in a bit. Okay. So as you know, I've been struggling getting back to OMAD. So this week, that's one of my goals is getting back to OMAD and not eating several times a week or a day, twice a day. And I'm about to leave to go to the endodontist about um, a week ago. I went to the dentist. I had a crown that I had to get replaced. And while I was there, they said that I had um, an infection. So now I'm going there to see what's going on. I'm hoping I go and they say it's gone. But before I leave, I'm going to show you just what I've done before I leave for the day. So I have my coffee, still have black coffee, and I've added iodine drops, about three drops to my coffee. And in the morning, I do take keto chow electrolyte supplements and also keto chow magnesium. So doing both of those something that I do take daily are them and my cup of water that I'll have with me. Go ahead and take my supplements. But I am bringing hard boiled eggs just in case, but I'm still going to try to do OMAD today and we'll see how that goes. Okay. Real quick before I leave, Derek pointed out, um, I was going to try to get him on video since he came upstairs before I was about to leave, but I did not get that obviously, but he pointed out, he said, Emily, why are you bringing eggs with you if you're trying to get back to OMAD? And so I figured I should explain myself on that one. Um, this week I'm going in a little bit later than I have been at work. Uh, there's been some changes and my schedule has been shifted around just a little bit, but Another coworker is off this week um, who is getting married. And so I have to come in, go in a little bit later and I don't want to eat super late. So I don't know how late I'm going to be there until I'm done. So I do want to bring eggs with me just in case I am there super late because I don't want to come home and eat super late either. So that's the reason. And luckily we have a refrigerator at work and they can go in there. And if I don't eat them, that's fine. So, okay, just a little update. I went to the endodontist. I do need a root canal. I know some of you guys might say, go ahead and get the tooth pulled, but um, it is in the back next to another tooth that I already had a crown on. And yeah. So now I have that scheduled for Wednesday of this week to get a root canal done on that tooth and a crown. And they did give me a new prescription that I just pulled up at a CVS to get it filled. Come to find out they don't open for another hour. So I'm already out near my work. I'm going to hunt for another pharmacy to get this prescription filled to take it the next couple days. It's a stronger antibiotic. And he did warn me it might make me have an upset stomach, hoping that doesn't happen. But I don't want my teeth to, um, I don't want to end up having to get it pulled and then having to get a post put in or a bridge. And I'm kind of bummed. I'm kind of bummed about this because other than this one spot where I have this issue at my teeth are really healthy and I make it a point to floss and brush and yet now I have to have this done so I'm not very thrilled about it 
and I do have some time to kill before work anyway since I'm going in late and had already had this appointment scheduled for 8 o'clock this morning. Oh, and real quick, I went to the wrong one. I went to the wrong dentist and then they told me that he does not work out of that office so I had to go um, up a couple exits down off the highway, go to the right location, which he was wonderful. He told me he would do whatever I wanted to do, but if I did have it pulled, I would have to get a bridge or a post because again, there's another crown that I have and I also have a gap of another tooth that I had pulled years ago. So yeah, <laughs> fun, fun times. So now I'm going to hopefully head down the road, find a Walgreens to get this prescription filled. So I can take that the next couple days until I get this done, so. Yay, happy Monday. Today is not going exactly how I wanted it to. I had an appointment early this morning and yeah, I'm supposed to go to work late and work a later shift, but I'm already out this direction. Half an hour later, finally got my prescription and I don't want to drive back home. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and go in. I just parked at work and hope that I'm not here super late. So yeah, I'm gonna smile anyway. Uh, Mondays, 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 Mondays. Here I am. All right, so I went and I actually did some shopping and I was going to do OMAD. Me and Noah were both going to do OMAD today. That didn't happen because we had some hamburger in the fridge that had to be done. Austin just walked in from work and I was like, you want me to make you a burger? And he's like, are you making them? And I was like, well, yeah, I got, I need to. So I made a few burgers. And so I'm going to have a third pound burger. Noah's going to have a third pound burger and the bird is going to talk. All right. So also I wanted to say, look behind me. If you look, you'll see I have 24 pounds of hamburger that was on sale at Meyer. Now, normally I don't like Meyer, but Meyer usually comes through about once a month with the sale. And this was theirs. Now, it sounds stupid. It was like $5.29 or $5.49 or something for a pound, which is expensive. But it's 80-20 ground beef, and it's buy one, get one free. There's where it is. So you try to match it up. So I was, I was matching up three, you know, right about exactly three pound packs pairing it up with another one that way when I scan it it's buy one get one free so that's what I did and I bought 24 pounds I bought eight packages I'll go back before it's over with but until then we are gonna have to patty them up and freeze them I like to make them in the third pound patties now I'm not a salesman I had I used to use an old plastic hamburger press and I talked about that before and I really, really liked it. Well, I had a friend that says that he got this other hamburger patty press and told me how great it was. And he tried it for a while and I said, you still liking it? Well, I've got it and we've used it now for like a month. And that's the only reason I'm telling you about it because it seems perfect and so easy. Let me show you. This is what it looks like in our description of the video. It's down below. It's like $24 now. Like I said, I'm not a salesman. I don't care if you order it. And if you did, I would probably get like three cents, if that, off of this thing. I just wanted you to know that when we make patties, it makes it so much easier. So it opens up, it's all metal. It's got just a, a... anyway, I put parchment paper down here on the bottom, one of the little squares, the patty papers. And then it's got this little thing here that, a plunger that adjusts for the size, the thickness that you want. It's just so easy. I, I push it down, I hold it down here, I put my fingers like this, and I squeeze down, and it makes perfect patties every time. I love it. I won't go back to a regular, and we changed our link that used to have the plastic hamburger patty press. Well, it's got this one on there now because this one's better. Like I said, it is $24. For me, it's been worth every penny. The amount of hamburger patties that we make and go through, because, let's face it, it's always, almost almost always cheaper to buy it in in the rolls or in the ground form and then make your own patties than it is to buy it in patty form and they taste better they're fresher that's just what i think oh yeah for dinner we are gonna have smoky bones i think i'm almost positive on monday night smoky bones has buy one get one wings so 
Anyway, no I'm at today. I'm doing one third pound patty. Noah's gonna do a third pound patty. And we'll get back. Because we have a surprise tonight. Oh mad. I was able to do it. Oh mad. Alright, so But I'm hungry. You wanna tell them what you got? So I ordered smoky bones today because they have buy one get one free on Mondays, at mm -hmm. least around us. So they're jumbo smoked wings. Or buy one get one. Mmm, yum. And James is driving me nuts because I'm hungry and he's just like he's not he's not doing good at OMAD. I'm not. Wings. I had a burger. That's still yep. not OMAD. Yeah, it's still this is my meal. That you was my had a burger and I That had was my snack. After you had a burger and I had This is one meal. Okay. So I'm gonna be honest with you. OMAD for me today. Good job. Yeah. Pat myself on the back. Good job. Yeah. So, all right, she got sauce on the side, so all of these are unsauced. And they gave us a little tiny cup. Here. A little tiny cup, and I'm gonna show you. These little tiny cups. I ordered, how many wings did I order? Mm. 18 times four wings. I ordered 18 72. times four wings, and they gave me four cups of buffalo, right. garlic, garlic. The reason I was okay, I'm usually not okay with sauce on the side. I usually want the sauce on the wings. It's a half hour away that she, came back you know from her work yeah and it's a half hour away and if you saw something might be soggy it's definitely gonna be soggy yeah. by the time you get it but and we might as well have because they're still kind of soggy from the drive so they might have to go somebody back. didn't want to meet me out there somebody might have to put them in the air fryer for a minute anyway all right smoky bones what did you do we're gonna eat and then we're coming back for a surprise yeah. It's raining really it, hard right now. It's pouring. All right. We'll eat. We'll be right back. Surprise time. Yeah. If you keep doing it, we will get a copyright claim. <laughs> All right. If you're seeing this, you can go online right now and you can actually you're already online <laughs> go down in the comments below click on the little link click our link please because that supports our channel and we love it when that happens but you know what else we love the new keto chow is are you ready da -da -da. Da -da -da. vanilla cream and strawberry cream all right so the difference in this is is that it's creamy. Actually, you know what? We don't even know. <laughs> We're going to try them right now and let you know what we think. If we prefer the old, if we prefer the new, if we think it's dumb, or if we think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to give our for real reaction for to real. the new flavors. So what we did was we made um a half a batch of each half one. a batch of each one and we have them in cups and he can show you where we marked them mm -hmm. go ahead show them. all right we marked the cups as we made them we have not tried them at all yet so this is going to be a true honest opinion on the new flavors don't look just in just discreet yep so anyway I'm going to shake it up. Yeah, I don't know if there's any color differential between right. the two. All right, so let's let's just go with this. Okay. You going to open go. it? You can open it. Just don't look at it. Although you can't see it anyway. It's on the side. Is it? Okay. All right, there you go. There's your number one. It tastes very thick. What does it taste like? It tastes like melted vanilla ice cream to me. That's what it tastes like. Okay. 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 I don't want to know what's what because I want to know my honest reaction, okay. honest opinion. Your honest opinion. Yeah. This is so dramatic. This tastes very buttery. We did make these with butter. We did make them with <laughs> butter. They were made with butter. But I like this one more. You like that one more? Mm -hmm. I figured you would, because the way it smelled. This one, 
Hold on. I just ate wings. So it's like a dessert in a cup. A dessert in a cup? Mm -hmm. Isn't that what most of them are like? <laughs> dessert in a cup. That oh. one's better. All right. This one was the vanilla cream that you prefer. Oh, yeah. She prefers the vanilla cream, as do I, because I smelled them very well when I was making them. Mm -hmm. And I knew that there was going to be a big flavor difference. This one tastes like a melted ice cream to me, vanilla, mm -hmm. which vanilla is honestly not my favorite. I love it. He loves it. It's stupid because I don't ever want vanilla ice cream. I want like chocolate or peanut butter or things like that. But keto chow, this is a canvas. Yeah. And when I say a canvas, I mean like you can add peanut butter, whatever you want to this. But this one, it might be a little different to do that because it has a very much more strong custard. Yeah. Which is something I would prefer. Custard. Now, what I will say, where the original vanilla mm -hmm. tastes like a, van a melted vanilla ice cream to me, mm -hmm. this one is almost, not quite, but almost a butter pecan flavor to me. A butter pecan. Because it tastes very buttery. Like I said, we used butter in it. And we... Very, didn't do any extra butter or anything. This, the, to me, this is a very, this is a custard versus a vanilla. Okay. This is ice cream. This is custard. And to me, it's almost a, a butter. I get it. Butter pecan flavor to me minus the pecan. I get it. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. All right. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to look away. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't look. I'm not looking. I don't want to know. Alright, cover it up. There you go. Okay. This one, it's like I can smell it as I drink it. <laughs> and I feel like a child holding it with two hands like this, but I don't want to know which is which. Is it good? It's, it's good. And I'm making this face because strawberry was not my favorite either. Is it your favorite now? But this tastes very much like, this has to be the strawberry cream because it tastes like a strawberry cream to me, which I like. That has to be. I will be very disappointed if that is not strawberry cream. This makes me think of a strawberry cream lifesaver. Do you remember having those? Them were called cream savers, wasn't they? I think so. That's what it tastes like to me. That's that's the strawberry cream. You're right. Absolutely. 100% that is on point strawberry cream. Okay, so... Even the flavor or the color is different. Let's be... Let's be real. Mm-hmm. Both are strawberry. And both are vanilla. Okay. Mm -hmm. For some reason, when mm -hmm. they say when they made the creams, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's cream. But both of the new flavors are like this is strawberry, right? They didn't have to say strawberry cream. They could have just said this is strawberry, right? Mm -hmm. And this is like in your face. Strawberry. Yes. It's like strawberry with a three different flavor shots of more strawberry because if this is like in your face. <laughs> but would you agree that the cream, what did you say they were called? Cream savers? Yes. Doesn't it taste just like it? Yes. So it's definitely on point. Mm -hmm. Now this is vanilla, right? The regular vanilla, right? Mm -hmm. But this is... How would you say it? Butter pecan. You wouldn't say it's in your face? Because that's the way it is. It's almost like it's almost like they're the same kind. The original is muted. And this is punch in your face. Yeah, if this is amazing vanilla, this is muted. A muted flavor. And this, it's like the new standard. This is strawberry cream. This is muted. And what I expect is because of how these are, mm -hmm. I expect from now on, 
once they run out of the original strawberry and the vanilla, these will be the strawberry and vanilla. <laughs> and if Keto Chow watches our videos, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. These need to be in the in the kits. In the in the starter sets. In the big bags. Yes, because the big bags and the starter sets. Yeah. When people get it, because these are good. These are really good. And not that these are bad, but now the bar is up here. But here's here's the thing though. Not everybody likes in strawberry your, cream. Or punch in the face with yeah. strawberry. Yeah. But it definitely has the cream flavor. Mm -hmm. It's definitely there. But I thought the other strawberry was a cream Which makes too. me... But it's just more meat. So much more muted. This has so much more flavor than this. I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. I think you should taste it again. But I was never... A, it was never my favorite. The strawberry wasn't. I like them as waffles. Ooh, they make good waffles. It's very muted. Compared to that. The strawberry. The strawberry yes. in general. Mm -hmm. the, just the strawberry flavor. When you're comparing, yeah. Yes. This is... It's like comparing... A, this makes me want to learn how to make a hard candy out of it. <laughs> yes, it's definitely like a cream, a, a cream saver. Mm -hmm. They were yeah. cream savers. Yeah, that one's... Yeah, that one's candy in a bottle. But I think that this these are both the new standard of vanilla and strawberry. Your, the bar has been raised for you? I think so. I think so. These are so much better. I wouldn't want to go back to these. I would definitely use the ones I have, but I wouldn't want to go back. If I was going to order strawberry, I'm going to order the strawberry cream over the regular strawberry. And if I'm going to order vanilla, I'm going to order the vanilla cream because... Over the vanilla? Yeah, because you can have vanilla or you can have a buttery vanilla. I really, really dig this, and it surprises me. Yeah. Be Butter pecan minus the pecan. It's right there. I'm telling you. That's what it tastes like to me. And because of the 4th of July with the, uh, yeah, you got the red, the white, and the blueberry pie. Yeah. The red, white, and blueberry. You can't go wrong. No. So, all right. Do you have anything else you'd like to say before we close out this day? Because it's been a day. I've actually got a lot accomplished and I'm very proud. I'm glad you are because one of us needed to be. I got my, I got our vacation video up. Our. 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 Southern Ohio. It's our vacation. Our. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Got that up. Mm -hmm. Did a lot of yard work. Mm -hmm. Ready to go back to work, I suppose. Yeah. I feel... Uh, I've had a day, and you've done seen that. Yeah. And we had our wings, and they were so good. That was... Yeah. If you have a Smoky Bones near you, and I know they're expensive, so we get them on Sunday. Monday. Or, yeah. Get them on Monday. Yeah. <sighs> Make sure you get them on Monday, because they're buy one, get one free. Mm, at least they are here. Yeah, at least they are here. So, get them then, and try them, and order... The smoked wings. Yeah, the, the big smoked wings, and mm -hmm. they're great. And all their sauces are good. Just try to find whatever one, you know, we did like three different or four different. We did a dry rub and then... Uh, spicy garlic. Spicy garlic and some other one that was kind of like a... Vinegar. Kind of like a uh, apple cider vinegar something. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't called that, but that's what I got out of it. Mm -hmm. And then... We just did it on the side, and yep. that way you can control how much goes on there. And that way they won't be so soggy when you get them. But they might be soggy. <laughs> they still might be soggy, but them are still... Yeah. They're my favorite. In our opinion, <laughs> they're the best wings there are. Yeah. Best wings there are in our opinion. Yeah. <laughs> so our total uh, review of the new Keto Chow flavors, uh -huh. I'm going with strawberry cream. I'm very happy about that. Over the vanilla cream? Yeah. I like the vanilla cream better. Um, Works out great. This vanilla cream would be excellent. It's a creamy with some chopped pecans in it. Or peanut butter. Nope. <laughs> All right. That's it. You guys have a great day. Yeah. And we'll see you soon. See you tomorrow. Live stream. Seven o'clock.
Hopefully I'm home from work. Oh boy.